Hello everyone, this is Chiwe Russell and today I am in my studio gallery in Doncaster, South Yorkshire in England uh, in the shopping centre in French Gate uh, where I'm showing some of my work uh, it's actually the first time I'm showing quite a few of my collections in one space Usually I show different collections in different places uh, or on tour uh, But I decided that I wanted to show different collections in one space Which is why I am here in Friend Gate and as I'm talking to you we have people who are coming in so um, I'm doing a video so if you're going to walk this way you're going to be in the video So if you want to go that way that would be great <laughs> uh, So we had some people come in, young people, and you don't really want to uh, catch them on video. They're students, so it's great that uh, they're coming here. They're all very interested. We have a lot of students who pass by here because they are on their way to, to school or on their way returning back to school. I wanted to show you uh, three of my favorite pieces in this space, and these are the pieces that you see behind me. Now, this painting was done. Uh, these three paintings were done in the midst of COVID. Uh, I think we were just coming out of COVID then. And here in Doncaster, there is a very beautiful um, place called Coswat. Uh, and there you have Coswat Hall, you know, fabulous building, a historic building. And they have an, a fruit orchard. And they invited the general public to come and pick the excess fruits that they had in their orchard and I went along with my daughter and when we got there there were lots of apple trees and pear trees I got there a little bit late and I've always been fascinated by trees you know they're really this defenseless <laughs> beings almost and they stand there day in day out season after season and they subject themselves to all manner of things and anyone can come and chop down a tree and in fact when i used to go for walks uh, in the park around here and uh, some uh, some uh, young trees had been chopped down the night before which is really very sad so you can imagine these defenseless defenseless trees they just stood there and someone came and chopped them off uh, so i have always felt very sorry for these trees um, and i have to apologize for the way I'm speaking because I'm, I'm suffering from hay fever a lot you know this is the hay fever season so my nose is totally blocked um, so going back to my story of Cosmos Hall uh, we were invited to come and um, help ourselves to fruits uh, there and I went along and these apple trees there was a frenzy of people shaking the apple trees and you know trying to get the juiciest ones at the top and these apple trees they were you know standing there quite defenseless and i felt really sorry for them and i was one of those people who were trying to get you know the really juicy apples and i came home with a sack full so when i went back um, that day it inspired me to start this composition which is basically uh, this time it wasn't the humans harvesting the apples it was the apples harvesting the humans so that visit to Cosworth Hall in Doncaster which I recommend by the way uh, inspired this really painting and when I do a piece I usually like to see that piece to, uh, when I have an inspiration for a piece I like to see it to the end so most times I don't just create the one piece, I create another, another, another until I get, you know, I run out of inspiration basically. And that is what happened here. So I started off by creating this green one that you see here. You can see at the bottom here you have the apple with their very long legs. I'm going to bring the camera a bit closer uh, for you to see actually. Let's do that now. So I started off by creating this one. So if I bring you closer, you can see that this time is the humans who are the fruits. And then at the bottom here, you have the apples harvesting the humans. You can see the basket full of humans, all different colors matching what you see there. And this is the piece that I created the 
uh, this is the first piece that I created uh, in this series and then I I wasn't quite satisfied and then I created this second one with different color um, color palettes and this time there were no humans there but you see that the apples are there at the bottom so they have harvested all the humans from the trees there's no human left on the tree and they've made some of them into uh, maybe apple sauce in there some of them are still in baskets they made some of them into pies and they're sitting down there really enjoying themselves having maybe a bottle of a, a glass of apple cider and you can see some of the humans um, there some of the ones who didn't make it into the basket or who weren't turned into pies and you know what have you and you know sometimes when fruits are ripe some of them fall off the tree by themselves so these are the humans uh, who fell off the tree and um, I wasn't done with the second one and I created a third one this is the final piece which is a third piece again by this time I was running out of inspiration but you can still see um, the humans these are little green people on the trees and you can see the um, the apples at the bottom you can see the baskets full of humans so I sort of reverse the story or reverse what happened that day and this chap is not yet done um, he is still climbing up the ladder to go and get the rest of the humans that they have missed so that is what inspired this collection that you see here um, let's put this camera down there we go Let's leave it there for now. And that is the story behind this piece. If you want to acquire this piece, it could be yours at a very attractive price. Um, just send me a message if you want to discuss acquiring any of this piece. You can acquire the whole lot, but you're going to need a very big wall or you can acquire them individually. Each piece here measures 121 by 91 centimeters and is acrylic on canvas. Um, if you want to acquire that, let me know. Uh, over the course of the next few weeks, I will be showing you different pieces uh, that are hanging on the wall because it actually helps you to, to have an idea of how big they are. I'm a small person, I know that, but I have to think I'm uh, very tall, you know, I often think I'm taller than I am. So I'm often surprised when I walk past the mirror and I see this short person. Because inside, I can assure you, I feel really tall. So don't be deceived, appearances can be deceptive. But look at how big this piece is when I'm standing there. So I'm quite uh, small when I stand next to this piece. Um, and there you go. So. Uh, contact me if you're interested in acquiring this piece and uh, see you next time. Bye!